welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Madison. Hi, welcome. Um, and in today's video, we are filming a Ulta haul of all the stuff I bought from Ulta because I have no, um, I have no self-control. And I just love buying things from Ulta. Also, if you notice that later on in the video, I'm in like a different outfit. And I'm like doing a different full face of makeup. It's because my camera once again decided to randomly not film my intro. I might need to get a new camera. Because I, I swear this one, it really, really hates me. And it just doesn't like filming my intro. So you, just, you guys just see these random intros of me from the future anyways i'm gonna stop rambling and we are going to get into the video so the way i set up the video is first i'm showing you all of the goodies i got from ulta and then i will be doing a full face of makeup using those products and giving you my first impressions on what i think of the products so the first thing that I got was the Morphe 35XO palette. I don't know if I'm going to be using this today because I kind of just want to do like a natural, like quick, easy makeup look. But this came out around like Valentine's Day and I really wanted it. Or well, not around Valentine's Day. It came out around Christmas, a little bit before Christmas of 2020. And like I thought it was super pretty. I put it on my Christmas list. But by the time that it got to Christmas, it was all sold out. And um, Morphe was saying that, oh, this is only like a limited edition. Like, you know, you're not going to be able to get it again. Well, I saw on the Ulta website the other day that there was new releases from Morphe. And lo and behold, there is the Morphe 35XO palette. So I thought I had to scoop that one up real quick because I did not want to risk it being sold out again. But... Here is what it is. It's a nice, beautiful, like, pink palette. Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm excited to be filming a video with this shortly. And then we got... I got a couple things from The Ordinary. So, as you can see... Well, I don't know if you can see in here, but... um, Oh, the dog is coming. But I have like a kind of like redness in my skin. Like I have a red undertone and from like acne scarring and everything my face isn't like evened out and you can see my veins and stuff. So I wanted to get a couple things to work on that as well that I could go like bare face in the um, summer. So the first thing I got was the... HA BHA peeling solution. This is the red one that you see everybody use on like TikTok and all that, I believe. Yeah, this is the red one that you see everybody use on TikTok. That looks like blood all over their face. So I got that one. And then I got niacinamide, which I believe helps with oh it minimizes pores and regulates sebum, which is the oil in your face. My face is pretty oily, so that's what I got that for. Let's see what it looks like. It's just a clear one. And then I got the retinol, and that targets signs of aging and textural irregularities, which... You can't really see, but I've had like these, they're like little bumps on my skin and I have them like on my arms and stuff ever since I was very little. So I thought that would help out and then just kind of to smooth out the texture of the rest of my face, you know? So let's see. This one's in there really good. There we go. I wants to focus on my face. <laughs> Alright, and then I got, I broke this opening it to look at it, but I was at the Morphe store the other day with my friend Kayla. Kayla, if you're watching this, hi. Um, and we saw this, this setting powder, and it's 
like a sparkly setting powder and we were obsessed and Kayla dear Kayla sent me the link saying that it was at Ulta for cheaper so of course I had to pick it up so <laughs> we both got some of this she's used it and I believe she really likes it but um it looks kind of like it's been used before but I don't know I thought it would help make my makeup look a little more like glowy dewy it's really pretty like look at that oh my god it's so pretty don't look at my face so pretty okay and then I got well I'm about to assault myself <laughs> I got the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer. I really like their um, CC cream, so I thought I would try this one out because I was ready to try a new foundation besides like my Juvia's Place and my CoverGirl. So I got that. So we're gonna hope that it's nice. I had good reviews. Um, I don't know if this is going to match my skin or not, but, uh, that looks really dark. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. If not, then we can return it. And then with that, I got a free, um, It Bye Bye Foundation Powder Full Coverage Skin Loving Powder. So I got that. This also looks like it would be really dark. <laughs> Next up we have the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And I got the glow one instead of the regular one. Because again, I just wanted to try and do like that dewy look. Um, and I have plenty of regular setting powders. So we got the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. The glowy one. And it's in the translucent shade. I've always wanted to try her setting powder because everybody like swears by it. So thought I'd just, you know, spend the money. But yeah, it looks it looks really pretty. Wow, this packaging is beautiful. It smells good too. Now I can't get the top of it. Next, we have the Their Real Tinted Primer. Um, I got this because I wanted to do more natural looking um, makeup, and it's brown mascara, so we, I, I just thought I would try it out. <laughs> if all else fails, it's a primer that you put underneath the other stuff, so yeah. And then, last but not least, my girl Jaclyn Hill released um, her Jaclyn Cosmetics in Ulta yesterday. So, of course, me being like a diehard Jaclyn Hill fan, I made Adrian go to Ulta with me and we got some Jaclyn Cosmetics from Ulta. So excited that she's selling her products in Ulta because, like, I have an obsession with Ulta and getting points and rewards and stuff. So it just makes it even better that she is in Ulta. Okay, so I got the Jaclyn Cosmetics Highlighter in the shade Sparks. And sadly, Adrian, when we went to the store, I had him hold the, the goods for a second. And he managed to drop them. So, the highlighter slightly got chipped, but, you know, here it is. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And this is what it looks like on the inside. You can see right here where it got chipped from its fall, but, you know, not a big deal. It's okay. And then we have the Jaclyn Cosmetics Luminous Powder. This is the, I'm going to say it's called the Glow Light is what she was calling it but it or mood light mood light is what it was now I can get it out 
And this is just kind of like an all over setting powder as well, I believe, is what she said. But yeah, it looks, I'm so excited to try all of this. Okay, so now that I've showed you everything, I'm going to clean up my mess and then we'll get into the makeup portion of the video. Alright, so we are starting off with the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the shade Fair Light. I'm only going to use one square. I don't know if it's going to be the right color. It looks just a tad bit too dark, maybe? I don't know. I did their, like, matching quiz. This is a Surprisingly good coverage. Do you see this? It's definitely medium to full coverage, like it says on the package. And I guess it's not too bad of a match. It's a little bit dark, but it's not the end of the world. And it kind of smells minty in a sort of a way. If I remember correctly, that's what my other one smelled like. Putting just like a half more squirt on here because I don't think I'm going to be able to get my full huge forehead. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, but it is slightly off from my from my neck color, but not too bad. Oh wow, that looks a lot worse on camera. <laughs> oh guys, I promise it's not that bad in person. It looks good. I like it. Now I'm going in with my Juvia's Place concealer and that's just nothing new so I'm just kind of going to skip over that part. So far it looks like the tinted moisturizer is doing well with my concealer, which is really nice. I was kind of worried that it wouldn't go well together just because sometimes things don't go well together and it turns out awful. So I'm glad to see that it looks like it will work together. And then next we're going to go in with the Laura Mercier powder that I got and we're going to set my face. I don't know if you guys can see this but that looks kind of dark as well so I'm just a tad bit scared um but I've got my Kabuki brush we're gonna dip into it and just kind of set the face. Alright, I'm not sure how I feel about this powder. I guess it kind of looking in the mirror has like a glow to it. A little more glow than usual, but I don't know. I feel like it was a little dark for being considered as like translucent. 
I don't know. We're going to wear it for the day and see how we feel about it afterwards. But I think it'll be okay. It's getting to be summer, so, you know, I'll get a little tanner and it'll work if it's going to be too dark. But, hmm. I don't know. I'm excited to try the Jaclyn Hill one, though. That's for sure. Alright, so I did my blush and my eyebrows off camera because at this point that's nothing new right now. It was the, um, the Milani Rose Blush and Coral and then just an Ulta eyeshadow for my eyebrows. Next, we are going to be dipping into the Their Real Primer to do our eyelashes, so let's do that. It looks nice, kind of like the regular one, but not at the same time. It's a little smaller. I like that. It looks nice. I think that looks really good. It's like a super natural supernatural look i like it and i think adrian is gonna like it too because his favorite is when i just do like completely like natural makeup but yeah i think that looks really nice lastly we're gonna do a little bit of highlighter we're gonna be using our new jacqueline cosmetics highlighter this one is the shade sparks and i'm using the jh 30 brush from morphe to apply the highlighter Okay, so I took the lip, or not the lipstick, I took the makeup off my lips with a makeup wipe, and now it is time for some setting spray. We're going to be using the Iconic Lone and Prep Set Glow. This is in the original shade. Shake it up a little bit. Alright, <laughs> I've definitely got a glow going on now. Like, look at this. Also, sorry for the dog in the background. She's out there barking at a squirrel that's up on the telephone pole. Um, or just an imaginary squirrel, I'm sure. There was one that, like, to sit up on the telephone pole, though, and just, like, stare at her, and he kind of, like, taunts her drives her nuts um <laughs> but yeah i definitely really love the way that my makeup came out today it looks like a a your skin but better kind of like makeup look and super natural super nice just got some chapstick on this michigan weather is literally drying everything out <laughs> We keep going from like 20 to 30 degree weather to like 60s and it's just, it's not working. We're in like our fake spring right now. <laughs> I bet you in like another week or so we're going to be back to like 20 degrees and I'm going to be freezing my butt off again. But yeah, I definitely really love this makeup look today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below and leave me some comments. What is some of the makeup that you guys have been wanting to try? Have you been wanting to try any of the stuff that I got? Um, are you guys excited about Jaclyn Hill being at Ulta? Because you know dang well I am like ecstatic about it. <laughs> but yeah. I hope you guys have a good rest of the day and I will see you in my next video.
Bye guys. Bye.